Right, good morning guys. I am gonna do a little kind of vlog day because I've got a rest day, but it's an interesting day. I'm going skating. And I'm not just going skating outside. I'm actually going up to Bay 66, London. Last night I was laying in bed. Um, it was like 3 a.m. and I was like, do you know what? Tomorrow I'm gonna do something with my day. So I went online and I booked a slot to skate at Bay 66. So today is that. And uh, I've had breakfast, been out for a walk, just packing some meals and I'm gonna be on my way. So I'm gonna take you with me today for some skating at Bay 66. Ooh, decisions, guys. SLs, Colts. Yeah, this is... We're gonna go SLs, baby. The Oru SLs, customized white sole pleats. Uh, Kaiser Slimline frames, flat setup, 57 millimeter USD team wheels, quite soft, what a 90, 89. Let's go. To the train station and I'm desperately trying to download the latest circle combination because the priest distressed this freaking homeland and it's amazing but my internet on the other phone is pretty poor so we'll see she got a coffee a couple of sweeteners in there as you saw train comes in like 15 minutes gonna head to London Bridge and then I'm gonna get a London Bridge underground from there so just got off the phone to Yannicka to say good morning um, I uh, packed some meals, got some chicken and rice. Obviously, we're still dieting for the fucking Mr. Olympia in like eight and a half weeks or whatever it is, so we can't be fucking around. And um, yeah, continue the route. I'm sitting here, and my legs are throbbing. Rob Cannon. Thank you. You are responsible. You bastard. Anyway, we had a really good leg session on um, two days ago. What was it today? Wednesday. So Monday, yeah. We, um, we had a cracker. I'm looking forward to some more sessions with him. Rob's getting ready for the uh, Europa Pro, which is the pro show that I qualified for the Olympia two years ago. Um, so wishing him all the best. Uh, I think Mark Hector's doing that one as well. Spain shows, always fantastic. Emilio does a really good job of running the shows over there. Um, great stage, great help backstage. Production's always on point. Good venues, tanning's perfect. So uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing that show. So there's still a few more shows yet to the Olympia. A few more people to qualify. Brett Wilkins obviously going for the um, Romania, which I assume he'll win because Brett's looking fantastic. Um, we've got Michael Crizzo doing Prague, could be a contender and end up in the Olympia. And then we have people like Mark Hector doing Spain. So it, I think it all depends on who turns up in Spain, really. Welcome um, aboard the Southern Service to Obviously, you've got Sadak uh, Sadiq. The next um, station is Norwood Junction. we Williams Martin, like all the guys that did the tsunami that's that getting shaped. So we'll see. Very early, not like an hour early, but you can kind of see. I'm gonna try and find a toilet somewhere, have some food. This has been proper 
tidied up since I was last there. I ain't been here for like, fuck, Jesus, maybe 15 years? Long, long time. So when I was last here, I think it was still, um, I think it was still PlayStation, Skatebox. And we used to enter, not from that end, we used to enter from this end. So anyway, don't open for like a fucking hour. So I'm just gonna try and find somewhere to go. Remember the vert being down this end. See if we can see through it, I don't know if you can. It's mad. It's been years. Years. A little bit early. Just having a little look in this uh, 281 Portobello. Got some cool shops in here. I don't know what they turn they all open. But uh, some vintage stuff. Basically, I'm just looking somewhere to go for a piss. <laughs> it's pretty cool. It's like a record shop. Blue groove sounds. Seems like some cool things. Wild Dash. It's cute. <laughs> that answers my question. <laughs> so we're gonna have to find somewhere else. Just gotta go and find somewhere where I can buy like a Coca-Cola diet and sit down. Because I've got a meal that I want to eat actually soon. And then we'll head back around there. So let's go and have a look around here. Let's see, this looks promising, but promising is not always as good as it looks. I haven't actually been around here, not for years. Interesting. These look good. Ooh. Found a little spot to chill out for a bit, have a drink. Don't want to get the MCA, so I'm gonna say bye and see you in a bit. Sod it, we'll sit outside for a bit because I didn't realize I was seating outside. But this is, um, I can't remember the name of the place, but we can see it. I think it's Mikel's Coffee. Looks all right. I only bought a Diet Coke because I had a coffee on the way here and I thought, fuck, if I have another coffee, I'm probably gonna shit my pants. And I did go for a piss here, but there's no uh, toilet roll, so I thought, nah, I won't do a poo. But the road looks nice. I think I'm on Port Bella Road. It's quite interesting. Some of the uh, shop fronts are really nice. I've been here before, but it was obviously years and years ago. And I remember like skating the majority of the distance to get here. So the way that I came was probably not very optimal. Whereas this time, obviously I was on the public transport and I pretty much got here without having to walk too much um, from the station at the park I had to walk a little bit um, but it wasn't too far it was like five ten minutes so but yeah it looks like an alright road to be fair it would be nice to come back up here and have a like stroll around but obviously the objective today is to have a little skate um, what's the plans for today what do I want to be able to achieve not a lot really just want to get a feel for um, feel for the ramps and that hopefully I can do a couple of tricks I'd be happy if I go home with a couple of tricks under my belt um, maybe the odd 540 and maybe a couple of grinds but it's like starting from scratch on it so we shall see we shall see very interesting experience there there's a gentleman sitting at the end one arm he walked past earlier he just had slippers on it looked a bit rough but he um, walked past a couple of times and then he came and sat down and started having a conversation very quick to talk about his life bless him and I didn't want to ignore him so I just engaged in conversation turns out he used to live around the Carshawton area he's obviously not doing too good for himself quite open about being someone that's been done for like robbery and shoplifting and stuff bless him like I know Oprah really um, so I said to him I just said look mate it's not too late to make good decisions like you're alive bless him he's got one arm but he's alive and um yeah just kind of spilled for a bit I buy him a coffee got him a coffee and on my way 
So hopefully that's made his uh, day a bit better. He was polite enough, you know, to take people as they come across, and he came across pleasant enough. I know he's probably probably a shitbag that's done a lot of bad, but always try to give people a chance. Um, so he's got a cappuccino and two sugars. Anyway, it's like 22, quarter two. So I'm just taking a slow stroll around to the skate park. Um, I feel better for doing that. It's kind of like, if you can do something like that once a day, cool. makes you feel better. Anyway, it smells really nice around here. It smells a lot of food now starting to cook up because it's like midday. So I think Port Bella Road is a place to come if you want to get some tasties. Or as Jordan would say, car snacks. But um, yeah, anyway, the purpose of this video is skating, isn't it? I don't know how much I'm going to be able to film skating because I don't know if people in here are very helpful and offer to hold your camera. Like, it's a lot easier in the gym, isn't it? Like, the gym, you just, you all know each other and I'll film your set for you. So, I don't know. We'll see. See you in a bit. Just walk back this way and having a look at the fucking ramps. And they are so much fucking bigger than I remember. I think they've got new ramps. <laughs> oh, I'm going to fall over a lot today. I think I used to skate like this kind of section. That's what I'll be trying to do. I'll probably hang out at the skateboarders. Gonna take it real easy today. No crazy shit. The vert is like over here and it's fucking massive. Let's have a look. Yeah. It's a mini ramp at the back. Um, bowl. They've got a the bowl there, fuck that. Shook. Yeah. This is pretty cool. Might skate that a bit today. Alright, time to boot up. Let's get these uh, trainers off. And, uh, I've got some new shin pads actually. G-Force, they're knee and shin. They make me a lot more confident, so fingers crossed I feel very confident with these. Before we get started. I'll whack that in there. As smooth as fuck. So I'm gonna have a little skate around and then when I get a little bit comfortable, I'll wait the camera out, maybe film a couple of things.
Do I need to say anything else? I'm sweating already. My feet are pumped. Legs are tired. I don't even know what the time is. It's probably been about 20 minutes. Got two hour session. I won't be seeing it through the whole two hours, I don't think. But I'm quite happy with that. There's no launch. It's probably three foot jump. And I've landed on it quite a few times. So I'll take that. It's really nice because like this gentleman's learning and this guy's helping him. His name's Kirby. He's good. So you got scooters, skates, more scooters. Everyone's doing their thing. It's all good, bro. It's nice.
First time in my life I've ever tried a rail and it shit me up. I was scared on that. Being thin. But I know it's a bit of a step on but I still manage it. And it ain't small. It's like it's like knee fucking height. Thank you. 
little break. We only need a few little things today. I'm quite happy with that. So we've done a um, notable things. We did a relatively nice soul grind on the, the high coping. We did uh, the sole on the, the, the rail, the decline rail, which I've never done before. Did a 540 off the little flat. Did a 540 on the 90 degree, 90 uh, flat bank. So yeah. Um, what I've realized though is obviously with grinding in like a Royale format on a ledge, I need to be able to get a lot lower because you've got to get off the fucking chassis and onto the boot. Like, you know, then they do these really steezy, you know, like Alex Burton, like how they do these really, really low Father Nugans and Royales. You've got to get like that. It's about 40 minutes left of the session. I think what I'm going to do is probably a couple of practices on a flat rail, maybe some Royales on there. But also, I wouldn't mind jumping on the midi ramp and just have a little go. I'm going to be terrible on it, but just for laughs. So, yeah, yeah we'll see. Done. I filmed a lot. Gonna have to chop a lot off because there's a lot of stacks, which obviously I don't want to show you all the falls. Falling over is not what I want to show. <laughs> but just know that tricks I landed, they don't happen first time. So like anything in life, don't quit just because you didn't make it first time. That's what I'm trying to say. But that was great. Lasted the full two hours. Didn't think that was going to be possible. Um, had a good time make use of a rest day, burn some calories. Obviously the objective now is to get in shape. Get in shape for the Mr. Olympia. And this is calorie expenditure, so fuck it. So I'm walking back to the station, head home. There might be more to this video, there might not, I don't know. We'll see. But in the meantime, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in a bit. Back at London Bridge back on the train to Epsom, stop at Wellington, and then home. Had another meal, another chicken and rice while I was chilling. So three meals deep. So you never come for plan. Wherever you go, take your food. Don't be a pussy. We're just about to pass Keeney's gym. You'll see in a sec. Had my hand over the microphone, I think. Anyway, Warden is the nearest stop to King's Gym. So we are situated, if you go out here, across the road, across the other road, follow around the back of Porsa Lenosa, I think that's what it's fucking called, and that's where we are. This one's tiring up, I'm trying to show you something. <laughs> All right, so, keep looking. Don't blink or you'll miss it. Zee Bridge, yeah, and then it's just on the other side, and there she is, King's Gym. <laughs> 